and your future. Welcome back. He's a Salem College graduate who worked at WSTV Radio in Steubenville for 15 years before breaking into television in 1999. And Jim is talking about WTRF's Dave Elias, who's taken an interesting hobby to the big city. Here's David Bloomquist with Everybody Has a Story. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. If you like 50s retro stuff, then Dave Elias is your man. The 1985 Brook Graduates apartment is littered with 50s decade decor. This looks straight out of Happy Days. Absolutely. It was the 1950s uh, for Mica tabletop. A lot of these were very popular in diners. What about up here? You have a bunch of appliances? Appliances that I don't use because I don't do a lot of cooking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, blender, mixer, all of these things were very popular in the 50s. And the 1950s uh, punch set, too. Very interesting. Now how about this right over here? A refurbished 1950s style payphone. And it works. Hey, remember, I can't call you, you gotta call me. His 50s fad began eight years ago, and this majestic Z lamp, worth 1200 bucks, is his pride and joy. That's uh, one of the most sought after items. They're very hard to find. Now, Dave says you either love or hate the stuff. There's no in between. And while he's collected more than 500 items, most are in storage. That's because his move from a house in Jewett to an apartment in Pittsburgh meant less room. But that's okay for this small town boy because the perks of city life override the negatives. Within minutes, you could be at any major restaurant. You could be at any fine restaurant. You know, you can be right in the city. I can watch the Steelers play from, from my window. Um, I can see PMC Park. Um, you know, and so, so for that reason, it's just, it's just neat to be, you know, almost like, like a bird up here and, and you can just see everything. His big city desire was inspired by this lady his grandmother, who lived in Pittsburgh during the 30s. So now this news reporter wakes to this view every day, as opposed to the old one in Jewett. In the backyard, there were cattle, there were horses, um, you know, so... The only horse you see in Pittsburgh has a cop on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly right. Everybody has a story, and you just heard Dave Elias's. Next Wednesday, we'll profile the newest addition to the WTRF team, 7 News This Morning anchor, Leah Wilson.